Well, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us right here on Y254 TV. This is your number one youth station. My name is Ram Aguko. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website, and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. This is Power Talk. It's a pleasure being with you today on this fine Thursday morning. And of course, even as we want to talk about matters concerning you, remember, I repeat of this show as again every Thursday at 10 p.m. Okay, and as I said, my name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you today, right here on uh, Power Talk. Today, let's talk about mental health. Does people's opinion about you matter? Mm. I know, and, and this is the answer that I will always get. It doesn't matter what people say. That's, that's the answer that I will always get. But the truth of the matter is, the reason why people get into depression is because of people's opinion. The reason why people commit suicide is because of people's opinion. One reason why people get into disagreements with friends is because of people's opinion. Gossip, name them. Aren't those people's opinion? So ladies and gentlemen, let's call a spade a spade and talk about your mental health right here on Power Talk. To help us in this particular discussion here, I'm with, uh, to my far right, Andrew Kimani. He is a professional photographer and a DJ. Karusa Andrew? Thank you, thank you. How are you feeling, man? Konanja, but I'm Timothy. I copy Timothy. Timothy, can you do something here? <laughs> but uh, thanks for so much for coming, my brother. My Thank brother, brother appreciate you. it. Thank you for having right. me. And of course, I am with uh, to uh, my uh, immediate right. She is Ayuma Kaguli. Yeah. A media personality. Karusan Ayuma. Thank you so much for having me. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I'm also thinking like we're saying not to worry about people's opinions. Uh, and we're here. Uh, we're going to be asking for your opinion. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what people say, but we want to hear what you, are, you, you, what you want to say. Yeah, to let say. us know what you think. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's kind of like... Uh, Double, double standards, yeah. yeah double, yeah. E e it's a mess. So, <laughs> but thanks so much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And of course, we invite your feedback from home. Uh, this is matters concerning your health in terms of your mental health. Does people's opinion matter? And how has people's opinion affected your relationship? How has people's opinion affected your school, your choice of, uh, of academic? Do you know what the truth is? Because of people's opinion, they tell your parents, no, this school is not the best school, mm -hmm. or this course is in the best course. And your parents tell you, you know what, uncle so-and-so told me that this is not a good uh, course for you to take. Don't take journalism. Yeah. And you end up not taking that. Does people's opinion matter? The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter, at Ram Maguko, that is my handle. Tag me and follow me on all social media platforms at Ram Aguko. The official station handles at Y254 channel. Head over to our Facebook page. And uh, of course, do not forget to do one favor for me. Like the page. Follow the page. And then you scroll down and you see a nice photo of uh, the three musketeers. <laughs> Drop in your comments on the comment section below and let us know where you're watching us from. And we shall be able to sample your feedback as we continue with this morning conversation. And of course, Power Talk starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me start with you, Andrew. Sure, sure. And I'll, let me get personal. <laughs> <laughs> First question, always, always. Let me get personal. I want you to think about the time when someone said something and it hurt you. Hmm. I am a YouTube. I've already, it popped up immediately, <laughs> sadly, <laughs> so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> someone said something and it hurt you. And then use that to answer this question. Does people's opinion matter? Mm -hmm. If yes, whether yes or no, how? Andrew? Um, people's opinion matter a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends in the situation. Like, let's say my, my situation, what mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. um, when I started uh, photography, I wasn't good. Mm, 
I used to make mistakes and all that. When you're studying photography, you should do that. What are you doing when you start? I'm uh, taking bad photos. Okay. Yeah, they are not quality photos. No focus story. poor. Yeah, focus poor, all that. Mm -hmm. So this friend of mine told me, hey, pictures are come say as you easy. Like <laughs> he compared my picture to somebody else's picture. Mm -hmm. Then it got me thinking, what should I do to improve myself? Yeah. What should I do to mm -hmm. be better than the other person? Obviously, I can be better, but but improve. Mm -hmm. Now it got me thinking. Started researching and all that. Now my 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 name starts with a professional photographer. Now, yes. When I started, I wasn't professional. Now I'm a professional photographer. Mm, mm, so mm, to answer mm. your question, people's opinion do matter a lot. It depends on how you take them, actually. For, when for, for you, you received it positively yes. and you used what they said. You mm -hmm. said that was a close friend. Yeah, actually, it was a close friend. A close yes. friend? Yeah, yeah. It was a close friend. Bro, is Bro, is it It's okay, because it built me like in I can 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 Mm -hmm. Does people's opinion matter? For me, it depends on who is giving their opinion. Mm -hmm. If you're a close friend, if you're a family member, if you're somebody that I like, <laughs> then your opinion can really hurt me deeply, deeply. If you're a stranger, then it doesn't even matter. And I think it's because like working mm -hmm. on social media and being a content creator and constantly just putting your life out there for the whole world to see and to judge, you have to grow a thick skin, mm -hmm. you know? And already people just comment the mean, I think people have fun just sitting there and saying, what can I find about you that is the worst possible thing about you and put it over there and we all sit there and laugh about you. So then now, once you realize that people are going to troll you on social media and make fun of you and everything, if it's a stranger, it doesn't matter. You mm. can talk about my hair that I worked so hard on and I thought it was looking amazing, but you wait until a tea, my friend, I'm a, my fiance says, I don't like your hair. By then, this hair will be gone tomorrow. I'm not even wearing the same hairstyle anymore. So if, <laughs> if, um, if someone significant in your life says something that yeah. you don't like, <clears throat> you will change on it? It will have an effect on me. It will have an effect on you. Yes. Will you do it as they have preferred? If I agree with them. If you agree. Yeah. And if many of them say, sometimes I disagree, but then I, by the time the sixth person has told you that same thing, and yeah, well, maybe they're right. I see Andrew shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to some point, uh, I don't agree with what she said. Yeah. Uh, Apoko, um, if it's some, somebody you love, close friend, family, mm. makes an opinion about you or mm. gives you something, an advice or something, you'll take it mm. rather than a stranger. Mm. But remember, a stranger will give you a, the, raw, the raw opinion, unfiltered, no love and all that. Mm. Like a loved one, may say, uh, mm. because that person loves you, that person doesn't want to hurt you. Yeah. But a stranger yeah. will tell mm. you, zi. <laughs> but somebody who loves you may lie because they love you. Now, they now, like now, you. Now, now, let me look at it from this angle. Mm. Um, to whom should we more be more careful about? Is it the strangers or those closest to us? To whom should we be most careful with? The ones closest to you. Let me tell you, no yes. one can hurt you as deep as the people close to you, especially like your family. I think it's like they have like this, there's like a rule book and everything on how to hurt you as deep as possible. And it's always your family. It comes from your parents, your siblings. It's the people that are closest to you that will hurt you the most. Mm -hmm. And I think their pain even, the way th their opinion of you matters even more because, um, they're the, only, they're the ones who you've grown up with. They're the only ones like through thick and thin that they're the ones who are there. Other people come and go, these people are going to be there in your life all the time. So their opinion really makes a big impact. Yet, the, yet, 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 yet Andrew is saying that it is the strangers who actually tell us. I, the Andrew, real... I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. That it is those who we don't know that actually tell us the mm, truth. The truth. Mm, but the stranger mm. won't, won't be there with me. See, it's not like, I don't know, maybe it's my, my partner who has to sit there with me as I go into a career that maybe won't make us any money. All mm. the strangers can say that's good, that's bad, but the person who's there living with you day to day, mm. their opinion really matters. Um, why do you contradict Kidogo? Because uh. the question was, mm. <coughs> who are you supposed to be careful yeah. with? Yes. So most. you said uh, most. Mm. It's the close person. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the close person to you may give you the wrong advice, may give you unfiltered uh, opinion. Ah, uh, un uh, no? filtered opinion yeah. about your life, fi filtered op opinion about your career. No, no. But the person who you are not close with doesn't know you, will tell you how it is. Mm. So you should be careful with those people close to you. Because strangers, your guard is always up with strangers. Mm -hmm. uh, your guard is down with family, friends and all that. So you should be careful with those people who are far from you, the strangers. But they'll give you the, the, uh, the, fil the unfiltered opinions. Okay, yeah, I get yeah. what you mean. Yeah, in terms of even the information that you're going to give, you might not open up co fully, completely to a bunch of people that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they'll just give you an unfiltered opinion, but mm -hmm. then now you're close family, friends. Yeah. They tend to filter it. They, they tend to filter it to please you. Has, 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 has he convinced you? Like a small section. <laughs> like a small part. Like a small it's part. In, in what part does it make sense? So, um, so we are seeing those who we don't know, mm -hmm. strangers, giving us the truth, unfiltered, uncensored. Hey, but to be honest, if they have close people, next, like people close to you, mm -hmm. and you trust their opinion, wouldn't they, like, me, I know, like, my friend, no matter what, she won't lie to me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, yes, exactly. like, I can just tell her the truth, and she'll tell me the truth, and that's it. Because there are those people who, who will always have your back. Exactly. Yeah. And they'll tell it to your face when you're wrong, and they'll tell you, you know what, Ayuma, you're wrong. Mm hmm until we reach the point where we're fighting and we're arguing and everything, we don't even talk for some days, and then I come back and say, "Yeah, well, you were right," you know. So I think it depends on who you have around yeah, you. It depends mm -hmm. who you are having around. Well, it depends. Yeah. Huh? Now, yeah. if, if now um, I want us to get deeper into this particular discussion here, um, I'm glad that we've laid that particular foundation. One, be careful with uh, uh, those who are close to you, even as you're careful with those who are even your, mm -hmm. your strangers. And uh, two. Yes, what people say can hurt you, mm -hmm. but you can choose to react to it in a particular way. Um, when we look at people, peop there, there's this quote that people will always find something to say about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There'll always be something to say about you. Let's talk about friends now. <laughs> How should we handle friends who always always have our names at the tip of their tongue. <laughs> hey, hmm? How do you handle such people? Honestly, I think it's like it's flattery. You know, even the people who are your biggest haters are still your fan at the end of the day. I, I, I think it's, it's, it shows about how much they... There's a level of jealousy. <laughs> there's a level of competition that, mm. that is there with them because if someone always has something negative to say about you and are always talking about you in such a bad way, they secretly either feel threatened about you or want to, you know, emulate you in some way. And that's mm -hmm. why they have to try to push you down in a level where they think now you'll be beneath them. And then now they can feel as if they, it makes them feel better, you know. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So right. you should look at it uh, like I am the bigger person here. Yeah, you should feel sorry for them. <laughs> feel sorry for them. <laughs> you should feel sorry for them. How, how, how would you, do you agree with that? How would you handle it? And, I'm, and, 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 and uh, on top of that, mm -hmm. add, in the case where you know them, you know that in your in who you he always had it coming. You know it very well. Mm. Yeah. For me, I think um, for a friend who has my name in their mouth every time, mm. I think uh, if first if they are my friends, uh, let them be because it goes beyond what they are saying, what the friendship is. So I will let them be. Come on, him to my kofaki dogo. From me, but I still call them my friend. I think um, I'll do what she said. Feel f sorry for them because I can't help them, and it's it's okay for somebody to have their 
my name in their mouth. It's okay. Because mm. one way or another, they are, for me, they are marketing me. <laughs> one market. Look at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> one market. Like, mm. uh, they are talking about me. I'm going to attend to Angali. I'm going to go to the next Mm. Google me and on Angalia Instagram. Oh, you say, ah, I'm a pig up pictures in a car. Ah, I'm a pig up. Ah, marketing. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't, doesn't really affect me personally. When people talk about me, doesn't really affect me. Because, as she said, you need to grow a thick skin out here. So the moment you're going to have thick skin, uh, people's friends who talk about you every time, either good or bad, doesn't really affect you. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, are you, have you been in that position where somebody said something that really hurt you and this person was a close friend? Mm, okay, you know the thing about me which I, I feel like is a benefit, the, it takes a while before you become my close friend. And I think in the, when you're in the beginning stages of friendship and everything, you notice little characteristics and everything in, in, within a person. Mm -hmm. And then you start saying, ah, oh, this one is kind, this one is honest. You start bringing them in closer and closer. This one is a liar. This one talks trash about other people. This one mm -hmm. does this and this. You start bringing them far. So like, I think a lot of people in my circle are acquaintances. And then there's the friends. Mm -hmm. When I have friends, I literally have like less than five close friends. I can't count more than five people that can say this is my true, true friend. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else, yeah, we're fine. We'll go party. We'll go hang out. We'll have tea. We'll have coffee. We'll chill. But you're not my friend. We're mm -hmm. just acquaintances. And I've already put you in that space so that if I do find out something negative, it doesn't hurt me because I never considered you a friend to begin with. So I think that's the problem that people make. You bring people into your circle. Mm -hmm. People talk badly about you. They do bad things to you. And you can you bring them in it's like a it's like a toxic boyfriend you just keep on saying come back come back and abuse me come back and be mean to me come 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 and then you come crying to your friends oh this is a toxic friend this is a bad person they were never your friends to begin with wow <laughs> they were never your friends to begin with yeah so that creates a thick skin around you mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. don't you think that one creates this wall that uh, even someone genuine who comes along and means well will end up being blocked by that wall that you build. They have to do their time. Uh, yeah, just like... <laughs> 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 you know when you go to work and there's like a probation period and everything mm. before now you can be... Imagine, like, I, honestly, even people that I've met, like I can say, hey, I'm a difficult person, but it takes a few years before I can say, like, you're my friend. There's no way we can just meet after a couple of months and start saying you're my friend. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Not wait weeks or months. No. Years. Like, at, at least, like, a solid friendship, I think you need to have at least two years there. Okay. Are you my... I, so, I wonder... <laughs> <laughs> so, if, if that is just a friend, how long will it take for someone to even date her like, in the what? first place? <laughs> <laughs> if for you to be her friend, you must take at least two years. Yeah, right. So by the time you, you, you get a level of dating, <laughs> five years of... <laughs> maybe that's why you've gotten engaged after four. Maybe that's the problem. No. Yeah, by the way, are you must be engaged. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Thank you. She's, she's engaged. She's leaving the market. Mm -hmm. Soko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you took a shower, you... <laughs> I decided to leave the streets, man. It wasn't for me. <laughs> now... Mm -hmm. Andrew, let me talk about men. Mm -hmm. Because there's how men handle it as opposed to women. Sure. There's how men handle negative thoughts and negative comments. Um, how, how do you think men are taking it nowadays when they hear gossip mm -hmm. about them, rumors about them, uh, trolls on social media. Mm -hmm. you, are in, uh, uh, you, you are in content creation. You yeah. do a lot of this. You yeah. interact with, with, with people. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you've met people who have actually not given you good pieces of advice. Yeah. Like this show. Someone, mm -hmm. always, someone talked about this show. Yeah. Said, ah, this is rubbish. Mm -hmm. So if it was a man, mm -hmm. How would you, you know, um, uh, take it? Me, personally, yeah. mm, I think over the years, uh, over the years, I've, I've, I've learned to accept uh, people for who they are. Like, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. people's, like I said before, like people's opinion do matter. Yeah. So, for me personally, it doesn't really affect me. But for men, these days, I'm say, I'm 
kulia for such many things like ame control ameambiwa wewe demi yako na kave but then how do you guess that this is actually an important comment yeah. and this one is a minute comment how, how, how would you see and say that more as a man uh -huh. you should cry about this but don't cry yeah. about that you, you you look at the scope of the, of the comment itself like does it really matter when i say matter does it really matter does it affect anything get like when 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 you said let, let me take my for example let me use myself as an example mm. um when when uh, somebody comments on a photo that i took uh say they say the lighting was not good now i'll go and research about the perfect lighting for such photos yeah. but when somebody comes and say ah, buda you nini unafanya that doesn't give uh it's called what this critic constructive. Uh, constructive criticism doesn't doesn't uh lay out some some factual or, or uh, help mm. there in the comment mm. that i'll just read and say we are tailor photography in any basi no no but that person who told me about the lighting part i'll i'll take more seriousness to not say, uh, seriousness or more attention to that comment <coughs> rather than the other one no no it's just a matter of figuring out uh, like which comment where which uh, which opinion eh, does uh, affects you mm. Uh, mm. either mm. either either mentally or a uh, day to day life uh, you get but, but, but we haven't but, explained how you guys like how you bring out the how it affects because me i think yeah. men are aggressive yeah, you talk yeah. and you, you say something negative <coughs> to a man mm -hmm. and it's something that he deeply he's he's passionate about yeah, and he cares yeah. about mm -hmm. he's ready to fight by the way he's gone and talked to his guys and everything even them they're ready to there and fight and everything like, they, it just comes out as anger they made the immediate response is just anger and ready to be like aggressive maybe not necessarily like fight mm. physically but uh -huh. like there's that anger and aggression i think girls us since we're already gossip anyway <laughs> yeah. you gossip and make up some rumors about you you make up some rumors about me mm. then it goes back and forth and in circles but men it's like it's real aggression it's aggressive. Mm. And, 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 and that's also one angle that intrigues me because that aggression can at some point be very toxic mm -hmm. yeah true mm -hmm. Andrew, yes. <laughs> what she said about uh, the the reaction for to a comment for a man, it's pop. Like you tell me something face to face, I want to fight you, I want to argue. And they, with and you they, use those, they use those like bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> 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 Maybe bro. Yeah, bro. No, uh, I, I prefer that uh, the quick uh, uh, reaction to a comment mm -hmm. rather than holding it, holding it in for a while no no joa kitu iki kandani sana inaweza explode mm. at some point mm. so the quick reaction to a comment the quick reaction to a, a an altercation or something said to you face to face i think that's good because the moment you may you may you may argue may let that thing out it even in shaga for men no say it to kids a ukinfanyia kitu then you anze kushika mashati the moment you may leave koi building i think you kitu mishaisha but for ladies mm. Hmm, I'll be plotting your downfall yeah. for a whole year and then you even forget what yeah. you said and then that's when it'll happen. Opera. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But one good thing that I love mm. about men is after a fight they're good. They're good. They're good. <coughs> It's done. There's okay. respect after the fight. Ah, there is respect after that fight. Yeah. Unless it is in some cases where mm. <laughs> it gets <laughs> worse after yeah. that point. Mm. Yeah. But 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 Ayuma, you thought about how men handle um, negativity. Um, I think okay, like he's saying, it's good because it's immediate. Mm. Like you know, if you're if you're going to be angry, if you're going to be sad, whatever it is, it's immediate. It happens. You let it out, and that's the best way to do it. Because, like me personally. You, I'll sit here and smile in your face if I'm, even though I'm crying deep inside. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I'll, I will hold on to those feelings and hold on to those feelings and hold on to those feelings mm -hmm. until now there is actually an explosion. Maybe like you know somebody just does something small and I've there let out all the feelings from before onto that uh, person. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely good that it comes out immediately, but at the same time, 
girls are just different. We just, we, we're fake. So it's, 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 it's sadly, you know, like I said, like we'll sit there and smile, oh my gosh, your hair looks so nice. And at that time you're thinking something so bad inside your head about that person's thing. And like, there's a lot of like, what's it called, backstabbing and everything with, yeah. when it comes to now, ladies sometimes. Now, now, now I'm looking at, at, um, at this man who has um, uh, had a bad day. Mm -hmm. You woke up in the morning, you went to work, and um, at work you do something and then one of your colleagues or bosses tell you, you're not good enough. Mm. You're, not, you, you're, you're not fit to be here. You're not doing a good job. And um, this guy, you know, he, he gets hurt. Um, he leaves work, he, he now moves to a different location and uh, let's say he's hanging around friends and one of the friends says, hey, and uh, man, today you look, you look like you've gone through hell, man. What, what, what's up? What's up? What's wrong with your hair? What's mm -hmm. wrong? Uh, and is is your is your hairline going backwards? <laughs> or, or, <laughs> and then you, you start to look at your hair. So they have to look for for you know an excuse. You know, ah, no, it's just it's just the style. Mm -hmm. So now their confidence is now bruised. Mm -hmm. and, ah, mom, but 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 you, <coughs> you 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 don't look as smartly as. He used to be before. So now, the things that this guy is hearing uh, across uh, uh, the day are all negative. negativity. Mm -hmm. And he gets into that public service vehicle. And the first thing that the conductor does is, <laughs> now, um, he tells him, no, bro, um, what's up with you? You, 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 don't, you don't smell nice. Well, what's up? <laughs> uh, just stand there. Because, you know, in public, sometimes you, you, <laughs> you remove it. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy goes home and meets the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. The girlfriend, who is, of course, going through her own piece of uh, things there. Mm. How should this lady treat the man? A man that has gone through <laughs> hell and back, had negativity throughout the whole day, and now is back in the house. In your view, Ayuma? I think, okay... You know what's funny? We've we've raised men to be constantly strong, 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 and to hold back everything that like I, even us as women sometimes forget that these men actually go through things that affect them. So b back in the day, Ayuma, back in back <laughs> back 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 in the day, Ayuma, how long ago? Back in the day, Ayuma <laughs> would have been like ice. So like, what's your problem? Can you don't think I have stress as well? Yeah. You even know what I'm going through. You know, like get yourself together, get it together. This world is not for the tough. Da, 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 da. Mm. But then, like after you know, just like life just teaches you lessons like serious the character development is brought upon you as you go through life and everything and i think that you just have to treat everybody with like nurturing and acceptance and also make sure that you're a safe space for them to be vulnerable a lot of men struggle to be vulnerable and even speak about their feelings and is it okay for a man to cry yes mm -mm. Let it me is ask that question <coughs> it is somebody don't hear me it is <laughs> Somebody told this man that he is not good enough, that he's not strong enough, that he's not fit, that he looks ugly, body shaming this man, that you know, you're, you don't have six packs. Yeah. <laughs> But the other thing affects some men. Six pack. That, that six pack issue. Do you know dad bod is hot right now? That's the one that we <laughs> want. <laughs> so uh, how? So you're saying that this such a man talk to him well? He can cry on he can uh, cry. your shoulders. Yeah. You know that's like that's when I feel as if like I've reached like the peak of being like a supportive partner. Like um, let me tell you like if you are you you have a partner, you have a a, a boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, mm -hmm. and he's never shed even one tear. You guys are not in a relationship. Like, as in, like, I feel as if, like, he's, he's hiding too much. He doesn't feel comfortable with you, you know? Even if it's just sadness of someone passing away or something like that, even if he's not that an emotional person. But you should, you, even you, see, you cry sometimes. Some You're about to lie you. and say no. Take care, Huh? Eh? Me? Yeah. Do you no. Cry? <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The, the the times that I've shed a tear mm. was uh, upon occasion. Yeah, but yes, like you felt comfortable occasion. with somebody. You, you know, like when uh, already you feel as if you have to pretend to be strong all the time. Of course, you're not going to cry. Oh, you're saying crying someone. with someone? Yes. No, I've I've, I've uh, not. Ah. With someone? No, I mostly alone. Boy. 
But it's not a bad thing. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Sorry for me? Mm. <coughs> Find someone you can cry with. You know, it feels nice to like release all of that and say, it's okay. It'll be better rubbing your back, making you feel nice. And then now you get out into the world Andrew, and you're cover a Cover me up, my brother. Cover <laughs> me up. Cover me up. I think, I think she's right. Yeah. I think she's right. Like, you, you need to some, find somebody who <laughs> you can cry with. Cause, yes. Because <laughs> you cry with, have you ever cried on someone's shoulder as a man? Me? Yes. Ha, shaka. <laughs> Morufera. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, but I've cried before. Mm -hmm. um, in the presence of someone else. Yeah, yeah, it's in the presence yes. of somebody else. In the presence of not on their shoulder, but it doesn't mean that you're there. laying on my lap over here just in a pool of tears. But yeah. see, I'm saying, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. crying is, is is a normal, uh, it's a human reaction to something. Crying. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't cry, sometimes uh, it's not good. Like you need to release that, that, uh, that feeling, that anger, that joy that you're feeling that moment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you release it in the form of tears. Yeah. You've seen men in their wedding cry because they're emotional. Yeah. You know, they cry because they're happy. Yeah. Sometimes okay. they cry because they're sad. It's, it's, a, it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. I'm, I'm looking at somebody who, um, for example, um, a woman. Um, a woman says something bad to this man, not knowing that this man is actually being hurt. Mm -hmm. How is that situation supposed to be handled? Because sometimes women say things. And sometimes men need to say that they're hurt. I think that's like the biggest problem, you know, like honestly, women, we can be, we can be very, we can be very insensitive sometimes, you know, with, cause we're so used to getting all of the woye woye pole, I'm so sorry, you're going through this because that's why they're busy in tears and mm -hmm. everything. It's so easy for us to uh, forget that our men are going through something as well, but I can't nurture you and comfort you if you don't tell me that something wrong is happening, you know? Okay, right. And even that time you say, how was your day? Ah, I was good. You didn't tell me that your boss said that you're not working hard. You didn't tell me that your friend said that see, you have a kipara. You didn't tell me all of those things that are going on with you. And that yet you expect to get that, you know, comforting. You can't get that unless you say it. Okay. Mm. Okay. So man should say, you know what, you hurt me. Yeah. But why don't you guys say it? Because the way you said it, you're just saying it to, like, Mr. Sam, you don't want to. Yeah. You see? Hmm? Teach me your own sex. <laughs> <laughs> mm. does, it, it does look weak. It does look like, uh, like the mental health of this man is a bit weak. That, because that's the perception there. Yeah, true. So uh, would you rather hold it in and it continues in the inside getting weaker and weaker as you keep the image of strongness? I don't know. But, but, but Andrew agrees <coughs> with me. You do agree with me. Mm. At some point, let me say this. You see, when you started this topic of does people's opinion matter? Now, in this instance, somebody told you something, a lady told you something that really hurts you. Someone you're dating? Some, somebody you're dating. Does that person, the, the person you're dating, what she told you, does it really affect you? Like, I'll mm -hmm. kipara. So, kipara. But can I change that? already does it really affect me to the one point that I need to react I love, I love, I love sometimes they ask you <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> you already know things are bad when ah, you start being asked that <laughs> where did you uh, get your haircut so you don't know whether it's a it, it, it's a good comment that's about to come after that or a mm. negative one mm. so you ask him why are you asking mm. uh, why are you asking oh, Okay, so then I'll tell you. Mm. I tell, oh, when you buy, I start. Then I will tell you. Mm. Mm. That's where mm -hmm. those are some of the small things that ladies can say about you that actually piss you off. <laughs> yeah. There are some things ladies say to, to men. Well, you, we take it like, uh, for example, me when mm. when I started uh, balding because of, I have a bald head. When I started balding, mm. um, uh, some some friends girls. You are you, are you, are you, before you continue, are you comfortable with my 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 boldness? Yes. Yeah, yes, I'm comfortable, Kapsa. Sina and I, because it's, it's mine. It's I can't, I cannot change it. <laughs> <laughs> it's already there. Yeah, so it's something it looks that I can. 
Look, yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> At least you have a, you have a, 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 a point here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, should I do an echo engaged already? <laughs> so, <laughs> as I was saying. <laughs> No <laughs> <goes on. laughs> So um, someone what did this person do? Alianza kuniambia wewe ukipara yako inakaa fani nini. No it ha- it really did hurt me back then because mm. it was a while back. Then I went to the mirror and ilenda kwa kio nikajiangalia. Kajiuliza sasa na nyu ile imeenda nitafanya nini? Nitapanda nyasi siwezi. Sasa yachana tu na basi because if she doesn't like it. Of course I human likes it. I take it. like mm. if one person doesn't like there's the way you the, the, if a person doesn't like the way you dress there's a person who likes the way you dress if a person doesn't like my beard there's a person who likes my beard no no so yeah. it, it it depends the, the level that you take the the comment or the what the that person said ukichukulia na uzito it will affect you lakini ukichukulia tu ni kitu wezi change ni kitu tu iko I want to now to handle the women um, side of it. Sometimes a man approaches a lady, she's crying. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you okay? Yes. But you're crying. Just something in my eye. Yeah. Okay, blood, blood. Just some funny. Ex- Why can't we talk about mental health and women? Because you said that men should open now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But as a man, I'm coming from a point of seeing a woman not telling me where the problem is. I can clearly see there's a problem. Yeah. And she's saying that there is no problem. problem. What the heck? Let me tell you, there's usually two things. Number one, mm. you're the problem. You're the one who's causing those tears. You're the one who's causing her to be upset. And she's waiting for you to say, I'm sorry for blah, 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 blah. For you to own your actions first before she starts saying, by the way, I didn't like how you talked to me or something like that. But, but, but now the man has asked you what's wrong because I don't he is want concerned you to ask me, about your mental health. Imagine I come, I step on your shoe, yeah? I step on you and then you look at me, you look at me you're like, ouch. And then I say, what's wrong? I want you to acknowledge what you've done wrong. You have to tell me, I, um, babe, I'm so sorry for blah, 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 blah. I shouldn't have talked like that to you. I should have done. We want you to acknowledge what you've done instead of us telling you and then you say sorry because then it feels like the sorry isn't for real. <laughs> it's think, so complicated. I think when, when a man cries you crying, yeah. the, 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 the thing that uh, made you cry, it had already happened, Kitambo. Yeah. Now he has found you crying. Maybe that guy doesn't remember doing that thing. Ah. Now he's coming from a point, place of Ajuri, Akumbuki, Akumbuki. Sometimes men have no clue mm. and did something. They, mm. I mean, I live my life. Because mm. mm. that time, like, like before, depending on say, my men, ukifanya kitu in that time in Asia, women, ladies, they put on a So the moment when enda unaenda kuna mpata akilia ni kitu ili happen last week ndo me me sasa ime come up sasa ndo anaanza kulia I surely know we're not that bad last week last yeah. week yeah. I know. you you take two years to make a friend so last week I I I I have seen a lady who who remembers dates mm-hmm. actually not ah uh, many ladies mm-hmm. and I'm sure you can even fall in that category mm mm-hmm. eh? You do remember dates, don't you? And the thing is, men can also remember dates very well. When it's mambo ya biashara, when it's the business stuff, that time he doesn't have any amnesia. That time he remembers everything very well. <laughs> he can count through the numbers and everything. Let me ask you how much is in your bank account right now. You'll tell me very, very well. But then if I ask you about, I don't know. Your birthday. Yeah, it's already a problem. Who was that girl that was talking to you? Hiya, nani? Who was talking to me, huh? Like, you know, like small, small things. I think men, uh, deep down inside you, you have an idea of why your lady is upset. You just don't want to admit it. No, we, do, we just don't know what's, what's, what's really upsetting you. Like, we have done, like, 30 things. Tell us one. <laughs> In the course of two weeks, we have done 30 things. Tell us that one that, you made, that made you cry. Tell us that. And, and, and you see, um, I'm interested in finding out do people really understand that when you cry mm. it's either a sign of either good things to come or bad things to come mm. Mm? Mm-hmm. when you cry because mm-hmm. one you're talking about your mental health are you crying as you're 
thinking or as you're getting because you're getting discouraged mm -hmm. and you're losing hope or are you crying because it's a sense of release right. and tension yeah, is yeah. coming out mm -hmm. oh. so here i'm seeing a relationship that's about to break up after this woman cries because now after that cry she makes the decision ah he did this mm. ah, let him come back home today but usually I think like the one for like it's like therapy and it's like healing and everything by then you've had some sort of conversation with who with with your partner like like for example if we had an argument and then we both said in the midst of that argument tears start happening mm -hmm. I mean not argument in the midst of discussing the argument tears mm -hmm. start happening mm -hmm. I think now when it's like now a release now you're healing and everything yeah. and then you can start saying sorry and every and, and all of that but if tears happen and we haven't spoken at all that's when it's now like it can lead to the depression side it can lead to this time of now when you're saying i'm making a decision and i'm leaving i think when you just see tears and you haven't had a conversation you should be scared that now now <clears throat> i want to take a short break but before <laughs> that let's talk about this angle here i'm seeing a woman who is being told by a man you're fat <laughs> i don't like your shape okay I don't like how you do your nails. Don't like how you do blah blah blah. People do say such things. Yeah. Because you want your woman to be in a particular way. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. To have a particular shape. To do particular colors. And it affects you as a woman. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, Emma. I think it's all about the approach. But if they don't come to me and tell me I'm fat, we both know I'm fat. We've all been sitting here eating and been eating together. We both, like, it's not as if it just happened yesterday. I just woke up and all of a sudden I've become fat. <laughs> so don't tell me I'm fat. What you can say is, ah, oh, babe, like, you know, let's go uh, to the... <laughs> It sounds so bad because you already know you're being told you're Let's fat. Let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. Because <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> but that sounds better. I'd mm -hmm. rather it comes from like, you fat, go around the bush. Don't come to me direct, by the way. Go around and find all the nicest ways you can possibly tell me. But if you uh -huh. come out and say it to your fat or you, I don't like your shit, all of those things, those are things that will bring out a fight because it's like you're judging me and, and, and you end up arguing yeah and, and, and for a man a woman, a woman tells you i own a six pack hmm. what does she has maybe nothing <laughs> <laughs> i want to take a short break and then we'll be back after this because we want to talk about matters concerning your mental health mm -hmm. i invite you to uh, participate with us engage with us uh, to tell us your opinion and uh, your opinions and your thoughts in regards to this particular conversation minding your mind right here on power talk let's take a short break we'll be back with andrew and ayuma in a bit keep it power talk here Welcome back. This is Power Talk. It is a pleasure being with you today. And of course, it's all about mental health, minding your mind. Today, right here on Y254, I'm about to check your comments on my, on my Facebook uh, uh, page. That's at Y254. And, uh, but remember, before, even as I do that, I'm with Ayuma here and Andrew. And uh, we have been have, talking about matters concerning your health right here on Power Talk. We invite you to keep on giving your feedback and your thoughts in regards to these particular stories here the, to the topic or the conversation that we are uh, about to that, that we are having today let us know where you're watching us from and of course uh, uh, i'm taking a look at your feedback now um timothy i don't know if you can bring it up ama nizisome nizome nizome ama ni wachana na utaleta badai sawa all right all right, I will read that question later on. I'm saying at a little badai, no problem. So, uh, 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 lady, gentlemen, we were talking about. <laughs> are you and Andrew? We were talking. By the way, A A A A. The initials, eh? The A A. Okay, small things really intrigue me. <laughs> now, I want us to talk about coping mechanisms. Um, and I I in this case, I'm looking at. I did a bit of physics. Action, reaction. Mm -hmm. um, action, um, consequence. And um, I want us to be very specific as we are handling this part because even as we do that, I want us to help somebody. Mm -hmm. Now, um, people handle 
this their mental health in different ways. People talk about it in different ways, and people have different coping mechanisms. Um, and I want us to give different examples as we talk about this. Um, how do you handle somebody who was once social and is no longer as social as they used to be? That's, you know, we, we, we all know, we all have that one friend who is always bubbly, mm -hmm. that bubbly person, that jovial person who all of a sudden isn't. How do you approach that, Ayuma? Do you know that's actually one of the signs that someone is going through depression or a hard time? You yeah. know, when they no longer are social, when, they sp when they're more secluded within themselves, when they don't want to associate with other people, because even those people will be the same ones are saying, what's wrong? Snap out of it. Come, let's go and everything. Like, it's one of the signs that your, per your friend is really going through depression. Mm -hmm. So I think once you realize that this person isn't themselves anymore, isn't as outgoing, and even just cancelling plans with you all the time, that's when you have to buy force go and be with that person mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. be like that shoulder for them to actually lean on because they won't go and do it by themselves mm -hmm. they've clearly decided to cut themselves out so you have to be the one to bring yourself into them and constantly do it because you can ask once or twice are you okay are you doing good are you fine and Kosawa, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just let it go. And then you, you can just be like, I used to have a friend. Me and Nani used to talk. And then like it just falls off. You have to consistently like be on that person. But now the problem with such people is when you are consistent, they get pissed off at you. Let them be mad. If that's your friend, it's okay. You'll be mad and then we'll make up. Yeah, yeah. If that person is a friend, it's worth it to mm. be consistent. Like, be consistent. Yeah, look, look for them. Look for them. Find them. Talk to them. Be with them. Because mm. uh, the, the answer to, to people uh, going through things, the answer is always, I'm okay, but they're not. I'm okay, but they're not. Now you need to be there when they're not okay, when the, the, the emotions, the things that are going through, you are there. Because mm -hmm. when they're telling you they're okay, it's, it's majorly in, on their phone, like an text, I'm okay, calling, I'm okay, but to queue up on maybe no. And as Kwambia, what's, what's happening? Now, one thing about the three of us, we deal with people who <coughs> are online most of the times. Mm -hmm. Online people, we interact with people who we don't know on a daily basis. Yeah. How should we, uh, how, how, you, you can even give your own personal thoughts. Mm. How, how do you handle um, trolls, social media uh, bullying? cyberbullying particularly um, how do you handle that particular area um, I'll start with you Andrew by simply ignoring just ignore you don't comment but I don't don't engage that person when you engage uh, with the troll you are uh, it's called verifying or uh, validating Justice. validating, validating. Uh, whatever they are saying yeah. so don't engage them like Atakamani kwa texts, mm. blue tick on a man, nililengwa. Like if that person even gets your number and trolls you in your WhatsApp, like atos in block. Have you ever been insulted? Me? Online? Yeah. Uh, not, not. I'm a very good person. I don't get insulted. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm a very good person. Humble. I'm humble so the ones who have been insulted online, they <laughs> Should I be asking myself, am I a good person since I've been insulted <laughs> online? Are you? I'm a have you ever been insulted online? Hey, yeah. Let me tell you, like, I, you can nowadays on like for example Instagram you can even filter certain words that people can comment mm. so me even if you wanted to type ugly and comment ugly you can't I filtered that word you can't it just doesn't show up it, it, it shows up as, as um, a blocked con uh, comment so keywords ugly stupid fat nin, 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 any word that I do not like you and I translate in Kiswahili as well and some of the few shame words I know I put them over there I block them so you can't say it and then I go and block you as well because you're not going to come over here onto my platform and consistently talk things about me and find things to go ahead and like you know uh, use as ammunition against me so you'll mm. get blocked as well like that's like the biggest thing you have to remove it from your uh, feed because mm. it's okay to ignore but that information still enters into your mind so if you're being constantly being told the negative things about yourself even if you don't go ahead and like speak with the person back and forth mm. it can really affect how you view yourself if you have to see it so i just like Remove it before it even gets the chance. Okay. I, I want to say something that yeah, I think yeah. it's very controversial. Uh, before we went for the break, you asked about uh, when 
a guy tells a lady uh, you're fat. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when when somebody tells you you're fat, I am sure that you have gone to the mirror and told your same, you yourself the same thing. I'm yeah. fat. Yeah. Mm. Now this is another person telling you you're fat. Now what are you willing to change about that? You it's not up for them to change it. It's no, up to no, me what, to change yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. What are you willing to change? To, so, to, so, you, so you go to the gym. Go to the gym. So cut, you're saying cut, when they cut say cut you're fat, that they're helping you. To some point. No. Because uh, let's be honest, uh. being fat is not. Uh, it's it's not healthy. It's proven. Like obesity is not healthy. It's, India. <laughs> it's not healthy. Yeah, why why are you why are you fat? <laughs> you're not going to be fat. fat. <laughs> why are you fat? Let me tell you, nobody can make it. you nobody can make you do anything about yourself until you're willing to do something about myself. Even if I was morbidly obese, let me tell you, if I was one thousand kgs, are you telling me that I'm a thousand kgs isn't gonna make me lose weight? It's only it's, it's already it's just making it's just me feel worse. What is there? Yeah, it's yeah. confirming what's there. We already know what the situation is, and maybe I like myself like that. And it's okay. I think body positivity is such an important thing you can be big and still be healthy you can be big and still look good you can be curvy you can be all sizes and still look good it's just that we've been uh, brainwashed as a society to think this size is like the perfect size there's no perfect size yeah so let no the, even if, if I get a few more kgs me I'm still gonna look hot and I dare you to tell me I'm I'm fat but still, even if I am, I, I as in like I don't think it, it doesn't because at the end of the day we both know hmm. it's not it's it's not to if get me in the gym. It's it's a, it's an insult. It's to it's either a demoralize, mm -hmm. discourage, or insult. Mm -hmm. But how how is me telling you something that is already there an insult? Like it's okay. me telling you that you are black. How is that an insult? Depends it, on the framing. Yeah. Okay. But is it <laughs> still is it an insult? It's like the if way I, if I come, it's, if it's I, like the way that friend of yours told you about your hair. Mm -hmm. It's it's there, it's but there. that doesn't mean that you have to go ahead and state the obvious and say it to me in a but, you know derogatory way. But still, uh, I still as, uh, I, I still ask this question. So, 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 so Andrew, you're saying, Andrew, you're saying mm. that if something is true mm. and somebody talks about it, mm. they're justified. Um, if it's true and they're talking about it. Yeah, let me say that again. Are you, are you saying mm -hmm. that if something is true, mm -hmm. it is a known fact, uh -huh. and somebody picks it up and says it, mm -hmm. then that person that has done so is justified? By saying what is there. Yeah. Yes, he's correct. Now... Okay, let me not ask what else. My face just went like this. <laughs> See, you know, like how people, there's people who say that, See, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not rude, I just speak the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. Yeah, I'm just yeah. being uh, stating facts. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to say every truth that comes out the in your say mind. That, yeah. that, that the truth hurts. Who, who, who appointed you the one to give to out the, the truth hurts? Teller. Eh, to be the truth teller over there. Some things just keep them to yourself. You remember when, when you said you did a research on um, action and reaction? Yeah. Consequence, uh, yeah. actions and consequences. Yeah. Now, your, your actions that led you to being the way you are, fat, obese, now the consequences are, you'll get those things, you'll get that, those uh, no. comments. Okay, it's, it's a no for you, but it's true, you'll get them. Mm -hmm. People will say you're fat, people will say you're obese, but, but you, you decided. To, to, to be like that. Because where's it like, where's it then I'm going to go to the Shaka, I'm going to go All of a sudden, it's a process. Like, you went from this <laughs> to this. No, no. Um, I but want you, Andrew, <laughs> to remember something. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I think that sometimes it's easy to talk about something when it's not you that is being talked about. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, look at it from this perspective. You gave us a testimony or a mm -hmm, story here mm -hmm. of how something that was said about you, which was true. Somebody said, Andrew, it was true that they were bad photos. Yeah. But you got hurt with those comments. Mm -hmm. The question is, why did it hurt you? Because... Um, 
when I was doing, when I was taking the picture, mm -hmm. in my mind, I was telling myself, this picture is perfect. It's perfect. The, the picture uh -huh. To me, uh, your picture is top notch. No, but no. to somebody else, because uh -huh. that person has seen other good photos. No, no. Now, don't you think mm. that, that for someone's body, mm. um, in their mind, they're telling themselves, I believe I'm beautiful, and someone calls them fat, mm -hmm. don't you think it would hurt them mm, similarly? Those are two different things, uh -huh. beautiful and fat. Uh -huh. Those are two different things, because you can be fat and beautiful. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Those are two different things. OK, OK. Uh, so somebody telling you you're fat doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. Yes, uh -huh. when I'm super, but you're fat. When him, uh, coffee tea, so you should work on it. Work on it. If you, if, 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 it, I, I cannot. I, if, if I'm, if you're the one who is fat, mm -hmm. yes. Then I tell you mm. that you're fat. Mm. It's either you go to the gym. I want to take you to the gym. It's mm -hmm. you deciding to. You told fat. her to go to. to that I do. She's just so, fat, uh, just, so it's upon her to go to the gym. It's upon her. Like if she decides that she's she's okay like that when when I go, it's okay. But I said what I said. Like you're fat. I didn't say you're not beautiful. Yeah. I think I said, like we've okay. forgotten that like mm. it doesn't cost us anything to just be kind and treat people the way you want no. to be treated. So even as you're being honest and truthful with those mm. things, first of all, say what's the reason for that? As you ask yourselves as you, how you're going to speak that truth. Is this a stranger, by the way, keep your mouth closed? You have no business letting me know your opinion about my weight, my whatever, any of that. Secondly, if that's a close person to you, if you're not coming with a solution and you're just there giving out opinions, unsolicited, unsolicited advice without any solution to that, in a loving way, you also shouldn't do it as well. And honestly, I better be on my deathbed because of my weight. That's why you've told me that. But if I'm just a couple kgs bigger, I'm a bit rounder, a bit curvier, there's no reason to say anything. Now, I, I'm, I'm looking at, at the perspective that mm -hmm. you gave. Mm -hmm. You personally said that you did not like it when someone called you bald. Mm -hmm. That was a fact. But you didn't like it. I didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? Because um, at that moment, uh, I had not uh, accepted that I was balding. Mm -hmm. So when she, that person, she said it, mm -hmm. when she said it, it mm -hmm. affected me because she couldn't accept okay. the fact that I was balding. Did uh -huh. her telling you that help you accept it? Her telling me that yeah, did yeah. It, it, it didn't it didn't help me, but she said what is there. I get it. it took me to accept what's already there. Like right. I, I've decided like I'm bowling, see as it change. I want us to help somebody. There's somebody on Facebook here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Mr This is Mr. Waziri. I'm following the show, thank you so much, Mr. And I'm please help me here. Yesterday one of my friends told me something that really hurt me. Until now, how can you over how can I overcome this situation? Please respond to this. Yes, you are responding to it, uh, my brother. Don't worry. So, um, maybe you can go g g give it a take. And of course, a big thanks to Afula mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, 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 commented there. Isaac Kana Kamam and some are well tuned in. Feminist Mbone and some are tuned in from Gong. Thank you so much for your feedback. Let's respond to Waziri and some are uh, help me here. Yesterday, one of my friends told me something that really hurt me until now. Uh, how so it's He's still hurting till now. Mm. So how can I overcome this situation? I think there's basically two main options. It depends on the severity of the thing that she was told to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So is it so bad that now the friendship cannot be repaired? Do you now have to make a decision to now drop this person as a friend? If it's not that bad that the friendship can't be repaired, you have to go and tell the person that your feelings are hurt. Because they, like I said before, no one is a mind reader. They won't know unless you go ahead and tell them. Once you let them know that your feelings are hurt, and now you can talk about it, see their response about it. Are they going to continue saying those things like that? But then, if it's, some things are just irrepl uh, ir ir irreparable. Once you've said them, it can actually end a friendship. All right. Uh -huh. I think, I think I'll, I'll concur with what she said. Like, confront that person go talk to that person that um, whatever you said uh, it really did hurt me that moment I've been dealing with it now I can't see where hold in anymore mm -hmm. now what's the solution what's uh, the way forward after the the discussion you have had uh, after you have said your piece like mm -hmm. go talk to that person because you I don't think it will help you 
Unaona hata ukisema tu utaisahau maybe that person utapatana naye kwa barabara then ukumbuke but the moment utaenda mu approach muonge you say your piece like uh, jana kenye ulisema iko ni bamba unaona oh. so i think that there, there will to be a beginning of you feeling better Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I, I hope you've um, um, I hope you've been answered. If not, uh, please keep on participating and engaging with us. Yeah. We are here to help. All right. Of course, this is what part of means. <laughs> Now, I want us to uh, touch on one um, other th- final stretch. Um, I'm looking at this particular individual that has just come out of a relationship. And this is coming out of a relationship that was toxic, where words were said, yeah. things were done. Hopefully, nothing physical, mm-hmm. but words were said. Now, let's talk about this process of healing. For the, ment- the, the mental health of this person that has just been broken and wants to get into another relationship, how should it be? What is this process? How can this person find peace within themselves and move away or or, or 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 you know move away from that particular event or that particular platform uh, person and move forward and mm-hmm. especially for guys me i don't know be honest how do guys move on from toxic relationships <laughs> <laughs> uh, i think for guys it's easy i don't know why <laughs> andrew yeah for 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 guys to move on is uh, it's actually easy From, just, hurting. Uh, from, from hurting from a heartbreak um, yeah. from a heartbreak it's actually it's not easy it's not easy yeah. to everybody so to some it's easy because maybe, maybe they have been through that now the, their healing process is shorter <laughs> <laughs> their healing process is oh, shorter they used to be uh, but you put a karuki in the love relationship uh, matters mm. as a pata takes a lot while from from healing and and moving on but remember here we're talking about your mental capacity mm-hmm. something that affected you mm-hmm. how it affected how you see things mm-hmm. how you see women how you see life a breakup mm-hmm. how do you heal how do you heal first of all don't get in another relationship sure but don't get in another relationship never I, I, no not never but not uh, immediately or uh, give it Two years. <laughs> <laughs> Four years. Four, Four years. years. Yeah, just Someone has joined high school and is leaving. <laughs> <laughs> give it, give, give it a while to heal. Uh, uh, by healing is uh, concentrating on other things that will take you uh, focus away from the feeling that you felt f- towards that person when they hurt you. Uh, doing uh, constructive things like ikezekana achana achana usi 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 u si patane na the 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 chick for for a guy you patane na the chick just let it be and you, your healing process will be easier if that person is not constantly there uh, reminding you manze nilifa kufanya hivi so i think the um, the best way to deal with it is keep your, keep away from okay mm-hmm. you can't right. keep away from girls relationships not girls mm. keep away from relationships you can stay with girls keep away from relationships for some time for some time till you're okay mentally mm, to deal with another relationship if you you jump in a, another relationship and you have not healed from the previous one uh, maybe this person that you are you are engaged with now like the person you're in a relationship currently mm. after the other breakup maybe that person is the right person for you but since you are hurt from the previous relationship you end up missing this one because you carried the baggage from all right the other relationship all right. to this one now um i think uh apo kwa mental uh, health uh, uta as I, again i'll say this lenga stories are them do kwena a long period of healing Okay. Yeah. I agree definitely you have to cut off all contact with that toxic person because mm. them still being um, with you is going to add more toxicity and then also agree with what she said about don't jump into another relationship and then lastly I'll say you have to have your safe person to mm. deal with to talk to about the feelings that you're having mm. and not oh it, and it, it, it shouldn't have to be someone in the same situation that mm. you are in because like, especially for girls we'll all be there saying men are trash and then like 
like, you know, we're all going through the same toxic relationship and then I'm coming to get advice from you as you're also in a toxic relationship. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're getting a good sound advice from somebody that is actually um, able to give you mm -hmm. that good sound advice. And usually it'd be good if it's someone that's, um, what's it called, a bit older, a bit yeah, wiser. Yeah someone who's been there, done that, so that you're not just all children over here mm -hmm. lying to each and other. And preferably you know. uh, somebody in a relationship, like uh, a married relationship, uh, with yes. kids, that mm. person will give you the sound advice mm -hmm. on the way mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, I want to bring this discussion to close. Mm -hmm. So many things are coming through my mind as, as, as the both of you are talking, and uh, I, I feel like mental health is um, a discussion that... Um, everybody needs to have True. and 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 the, I, I learned that some people believe that mental health as a word is associated with madness mm -hmm. when they say somebody is not mentally healthy if they, they, they the assumption is that he's going mad mm -hmm. when that is actually not, 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 not the case mm -hmm. um, so Thank you so much for, 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 for having this discussion. And uh, um, I want to give you guys time to have a final word. Let me start with you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, just put a couple of thing on, on, on things. What is your parting shot? And if you want to talk to your people there, that is your camera. Now, my parting shot is this. Deal, deal with your depression, your mental health the right way. By the right way, I mean... Um, don't don't uh, don't use alcohol as a means of forgetting or dealing with the depression. No, no, because depression is mostly a feeling. It's not a disease. It's a feeling. When I get, uh, for example, when I get a a text or I'm 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 I'm, right. I'm, I'm removed from a, from work, right. may lose job, uh, I'll feel depressed. No, okay. deal with depression the right way. Deal right. with your mental health the right way. Thank don't you. use alcohol to right. deal with your mental health. It doesn't work. All right, thank you. Ayuma, final um, word. Final thing I can say is mental health issues are normal. Everybody goes through periods of struggling with their mental health, so you should never build, uh, feel ashamed about what you're going through. Make sure you find someone that you can talk to about every, anything that you're struggling with. Yeah. Thank you so much. That is Ayuma. Thank you so much for coming. Andrew. Yo. Asana Sana. It has been a pleasure, guys. Yeah, thank you. For and of course, even as talk about mental health, uh, I hope that you've learned something from home. I want us to bring this discussion to a close. A big thanks to each and every one of you that uh, ensured this show was a success. And as always, we want to wrap it up with a quote. Timothy, bring it up. No matter how loud the opinions of others might be, they don't get to decide who you can be. Only you can do that. And that is what brings us to the end of this discussion right here on Power Talk. A big thanks to Ayuma. Big thanks to Andrew. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And a big thanks to everybody that ensured this show was a success. Mental health, very important. Mind your mind. My name is Ram Aguko. This is Power Talk.